Are you serious? Are you serious? Having a cup of coffee here. Calm down. But the number 14, kind of strange. Two stories. We've had 14 people killed in Russia and 14 people killed in Afghanistan. Two separate incidences totally, but both resulting in the death of 14 people. In Russia, there was at a summer camp, children participating in a summer camp in Russia when a boat capsized in the stormy lake in northwest Russia. Uh, it resulted in the death of 14 kids uh, as the boat sinks. And there's an investigation going on there right now trying to figure out why in the world was the boat in the stormy waters? And then again, why did the boat sink? And, uh, and the 14 lives that were lost at a summer camp in Russia, something went terribly wrong. Meanwhile, let's go to Afghanistan, to the, <clears throat> to the capital of Afghanistan. There's been a suicide bomber that has killed at least 14 people in Afghanistan this morning. According to reports, the suicide bomber set off explosives in the Afghan capital of Kabul early this morning, killing at least 14 people, wounding an additional eight in a terrorist attack on a bus that was said to have been carrying uh, from Nepal security contractors, all right? Now, according to Reuters, a Reuters witness saw several apparently dead victims and at least two wounded being carried out of the yellow bus while police and emergency service vehicles surrounded the scene uh, in the Bain district city of Cabal. Now, a, an attack, the attack was the latest in a recent surge of violence that highlights the challenges faced by the Afghanistan government in Cabal and its western backers in Washington, D.C. slowly draws down its remaining troops. We still got troops there, despite a persistent insurgency by the Taliban. Uh, the interior minister there in Afghanistan spokesman claimed on his Twitter account that up to 14 people had been killed in this suicide bombing and claiming that an additional eight victims were injured. All right. So, you know, it just gets uglier. And there was also reports by the BBC basically saying the same thing. You can read all of this at the Crusader Journal. I'll put the link below. I'll also put the link below on the uh, tragedy there in Russia uh, that claimed the lives of 14 at a summer camp. All right, so pray for these, all the families of all these victims, the wounded, everyone involved. And you know, no matter what, it's uh, radical Islam is a problem, major problem. I'll be back though with a story that makes you wonder, does the Attorney General of the United States, Loretta Lynch, does she not understand what part of Islam and radical Islam and ISIS does she not understand as the Obama administration continues to put a cloak of protection seemingly around those who are responsible for terrorism and he attacks those that would challenge it. Unbelievable. I'll be back with more right here in just a moment. Are you serious?